Hey everybody, today we're going to be drawing Peter Parker as Spider-Man, and for this one you're going to need black, red, and blue. Okay, so to start, you're going to draw this little head section here, it's kind of a little U. And bring that down into an oval with a little bit of a point. Okay. Then you're gonna draw two little diagonal lines here. One kind of goes and touches this part of the face. The other one doesn't touch the other part of the face. So you have that. And just kind of bring it down. And up, same thing here, down and up. And this top line is going to be just a little bit thicker. We'll go up a little bit more. It goes back down again. Okay, so you have something like that. And then for the shoulder here, I'm going to bring it down. This other one. here and so the shoulder it's gonna be his arm is gonna point down so do something like that and here for that top shoulder muscle and just kind of bring that together so it looks a bit like a point and then here you're gonna draw tricep bicep right here, this is just the upper arm, now going down, alright, and then the forearm, which is just going to go out a little bit more like this, then down, and down again, just bring out the hand so it's going to come out like this, down into this little thumb, then the rest of the fingers are going to be curled around the web. Alright, and right here you have the other arm. So this shoulder muscle is actually going to start here, go in this kind of U thing, and it curves all the way up, and it's going behind him, so tricep, Bicep. I don't really have muscles, but you know, I'm just pointing to where it is on like a human. So, bicep goes in like this. Then it hits this part, and these are called the lateral muscles. Alright, so you got the bicep, so the elbow come out a little bit. And it goes out here, and the rest of the forearm out a little bit, and then here. And then the thumb, see it kind of goes out a little bit. It's got this little fleshy part, see how the, um, on my hand, the wrist aligns with my pinky right here, but here it kind of jumps out. So here it's going to be all flat, but here is going to be that thumb muscle, so it'll go out a little bit. And the thumb will just kind of come down like this. Then he's got his hand in kind of this position, so it's going to point up, side, and down here. Then it's kind of angled away from us, so the other couple ones just draw these little circles, I mean these little triangle things. So it should look like that. Right? So now here, the lateral muscles, it'll go down a little bit. So here is kind of like the ab line, or like the middle of the stomach. 
and there are these smaller muscles kind of near the hips. He's pointing away. So his hips will actually be about here. And then here comes out like a really big leg. So it goes out like that. And there are a couple, these are the quadriceps right here. And we'll come in. Actually, see a little bit thicker. And go to the side of it. So his leg is pointing all the way down like this. Then here, since his feet is kind of pointing behind him, like if you do it in perspective, it's not like the whole thing isn't really gonna show up. So you have to foreshorten it, make it way smaller than you might think. and put the feet back in here. Okay. And now that you have that, you can do the start of his other leg. And now, we'll, since that's pointing up all the way here, we'll go up. And I see the calf muscles kind of on display right now. Not like the other one. Actually here, the calf muscles to be a bit more visible. So here, you can actually see it. And we'll go down, kind of point like this. Then since this foot is much closer to us than this foot, it's gonna be bigger. So we'll go all the way down. And it'll kind of look like this. Okay, now that you have that, you're going to draw a couple lines here for the web. Then it's going all the way off to the side, so just a big straight diagonal line. Okay. So now that you have something like that, you can start with the actual pattern. For this, the good thing about Spider-Man suit is that his suit basically aligns with the muscles that you've already drawn. So it's going to be one here. It's this little triangle thing here. It should look something like that. This little stripe. And here, because his, see his body is actually angling this way a little bit. The spider is going to be on his chest. Oops, messed that up on accident. Uh, but here should be its little pinchers. And it goes up. And then to the side. So I'll just draw that in. So these are the top legs here. Then just so I don't like screw it up later, I'm gonna draw on the bottom of the spider right now. So you just draw four on each side. It doesn't have to align super perfectly, but none of them should be coming out of the abdomen part of the spider. So now that you have that, it kind of follows that ab line, little V thing, another thing here that follows that shoulder muscle, here at the bicep part, goes all the way to the tricep part. Just a little like that. And here there's gonna be another little triangle. And on the feet there's gonna be a triangle thing here and a triangle thing here. This is the design from the PS4 video game, by the way. And just draw 
little triangles right there. Okay, now that you have that, you can start drawing the pattern. It's gonna be one line straight in the middle, then two more that kind of do this. And then little spider web lines just kind of come out of those. Okay. Then here, see it follows the line of those muscles again. Like I said, that's the good thing about Spider-Man's design is that it really follows like human anatomy pretty well. Same thing here. Just a couple lines. I'll just go in there a little bit. Just kind of connect them. Right? And only the red parts will have the lines. The blue parts are blank. And here, since that's curving up, you'll see that this line is the same. Or it's curving the same way. And just a couple here. And actually, this hand is these little fingerless glove looking things on them. Just connect that with these circles some more. Okay, I'm almost done with the patterning, so no worry. Just get these. And this little V thing. And the biggest part, which is gonna be stomach kind of area just always make sure that these are connected okay so that should wait sorry forget about these you can just do them pretty quickly you know okay so that's all the red that there's gonna be. I'll take out your actual blue and just color in all the parts that you didn't color so far. Or all the parts that you um, left blank, I mean. And leave this part white because that's gonna be the uh, web. about my fan by the way it kind of just does that okay so that's that part uh, there's a soul I don't know what that muscle is actually it's kind of the thing like on the side of the hips just have this a little blue line here oh and leave the uh, spider white as well like the actual spider on his like costume. Okay. Coloring this in. Oh, I'll leave his little gloves there. All right. I think that is all of the blue that we need, so now take out your red. Is this the right red? Yeah, it is, okay. 
and just color in basically the rest of it. kind of relaxing to color stuff in. You have to get it like a hundred percent in the lines. I think the spider is a little bit symmetrical, but that's alright. Alright, almost done. I'm just gonna color in the shoes here. The feet, I don't know, does he have shoes? I think it's just like a one, one piece thing. Oh, this thing. Let's color that little section of the suit. All right, we're almost done. Just take out your black if you want, and you can add some more web bits kind of flying around. And there's your Spider-Man.